People are always asking me, did I know Tyler Durden? This is it, ground zero. In 55 seconds, these credit card companies will fall and then it's clean slate for the average Joe. No debts, no worries. Somehow, I realise all of this is because I couldn't sleep. Insomnia, nothing's real. Everything is a copy of a copy. No, you can't die of insomnia. Are you sure? I haven't slept in days. I'm in pain. You want to see pain? Swim by the testicular cancer meetings on Tuesday nights. That's pain. These weren't men. They were shells of masculinity broken by their own diseased bodies. This is cancer, right? This, this chick, Marla Singer, did not have testicular cancer. She was a liar. If I did have a tumour, I'd name it Marla. We need to talk. I'm on to you. You're a faker. I'll expose you. Go ahead. I'll expose you. This is how I met Tyler Durden. Did you know if you mix equal parts gasoline and frozen orange juice, you can make napalm? Yep. So Tyler, what'd you do? Soap. If you were to add nitric acid to the soap making process, you would get nitroglycerin. With enough soap, you could blow up just about anything. If one was so inclined. How I came to live with Tyler is because of a leaky gas valve. I was told it could have been filling up for days. My neighbours told me it was quite a sight. I only got to see my burnt possessions lying in the street. Most of the week, I was a drone. But every weekend, I was a god. Every week, Tyler gave the rules that he and I decided on. The first rule of Fight Club is, you don't talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. And the third rule, if it's your first night at Fight Club, you have to fight. Okay, all right, uh, let's begin. I mean, with your constant absence and your despicable appearance, you're up for review. Well, let's pretend you're the Department of Transportation and you discover that our company did nothing but brake warnings that failed after a thousand miles and fuel injectors that burnt people alive. Hmm? Just who the fuck do you think you are? Now get out! You're fired! What about this? How about you keep me on payroll and in exchange for my salary, I'll keep my mouth shut. You 
little shit. You know what I ought to do? For some reason, I thought of my first fight with Tyler. Please give me what I want. You'll never see me again. Six months advance pay and 48 airline flight coupons. Our hobby was now global. Tyler started to give up homework to the club. I never saw what the letters said, but I read the results. Then they started to turn up. Each day, more and more arrived on our doorstep like abandoned children. You're too young. The advocate's too young, tell him he's too young. If he's too old, tell him he's too old. If he can stand there for three days without food, shelter, or any encouragement, he can begin training. But you train him for what? Project Mayhem. That doesn't concern you, sir. What? Where's Tyler? The first rule of Project Mayhem is you do not ask questions. Robert Paulson, shot by police in one of Tyler's little missions. It had to end. I had to find Tyler. Different bars, same answers. Tyler wasn't there, but his scent was. It felt like a ghost. Could have sleepwalked through the past couple of days and not have noticed. Take me to the train station. For you, sir, the ride is free. Who do you think I am? Uh, you Mr. Durden, sir. Yeah? Tyler, it's me. What's my name? What are you talking about, Tyler? What? What did you say? What's my name? Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden. Her words swept over me like a mudslide, erupting into my mouth and ears, forcing itself inside me. I wanted to be taken away from this bruised, deformed world. Then like that, I was. I believe this is where we came in. Look what we've accomplished. Out these windows, we're going to view the economic collapse of society. You're not fucking real. You're a figment of my imagination. Fuck that. Maybe you're a figment of my imagination. Why can't I get rid of you? Because if I leave, you'll be back where you started. Could you live with that? If you're me, then the gun is in my hand. That means shit. What do you want to put the gun in your mouth for? Look at me, Tyler. My eyes are open. <laughs> what happened to your face? But don't worry. You did that to me, Tyler. I did, I think. You met me at a very strange point in my life. <laughs>